This tutorial will cover how to properly use the payment management system to submit your federal financial report. Private data in this video will be blocked out and the numbers you will see in the tutorial are just an example. Be sure to use your own data specific to you. Open your browser to dpm.psc.gov and click on the link that says Payment Management System Logon Link and enter your username and password. From there, you will be directed to the Payment Management System where you will then click to enter. Once logged on, navigate to the left side column where it says FFR Cash Transaction Report and click on it. You will be prompted to enter the payee account number and then click continue. On the next screen, choose prepare and certify. Your FFR will then appear on screen as a fillable form. At the top, choose Report Disbursements. Where you see your correct grant and account numbers, click the right hand column. Take your cash disbursements from the previous quarter which will include your direct costs, indirect costs based on your provisional rates and your fixed fee and add it to the second column on this page. Once you've entered all three totals into the boxes and entered the total, Hit continue. Usually, an error message pops up saying that there are inactive grants. Just click OK, go down to report inactive grants and select a blank space and then click continue again. This will take you back to the original FFR where line 10B will now have a total. Take the difference between lines 10A and B and record the number in 10C. If the difference is positive, you'll be asked to explain why later. Click certify, read the disclaimer, and then choose OK. After that, scroll down to the bottom and make sure you mark the checkbox that says that I certify this report is true and enter your name into line 13B. After clicking submit, you'll be directed to a page that says that your transaction is complete. Click return to list where you can then save or print your FFR for your records.